I'm showing you guys Earth Hack, which is a continuation of a 1.12.2 client made all the way up to 1.21.1. So to get this, you want to head over to their official GitHub page right over here, which is going to be linked down in the description below. Together actually with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients just like this one, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here on the GitHub page, you want to navigate over to the Releases tab, and then find the latest release, and you can use someone with a latest tag then you want to in the assets click on the dot jar file and that is automatically going to download earth hack for you to use this you actually also need to download the fabric api um this is going to be linked down in the description below too now you obviously also need to have fabric installed for minecraft 1.21.1 to be able to use earth hack if you don't have that yet or you're not sure where to get it then i will link it down in the description below too anyways now as you can see i have earth hack as well as the fabric api over here in my downloads and if you also have that then you just want to place both of these in the mods folder to get there press on the windows and r buttons at the same time and then in the box that pops up type in app data then hit enter and in this location you want to go into the folder called roaming then dot minecraft you might need to scroll down a little until you find the mods folder i can delete those and then you simply want to drag the fabric api as well as earth hack right into that folder then you can close both of these up open up the minecraft launcher and launch fabric for minecraft 1.21.1 so here i've got minecraft 1.21 that one started up and you'll immediately notice this button right over here there should be an alt account manager automatically built into earth hack anyways i'm just gonna head into a single player world right now just as an example and briefly show you guys how to get started with using this all right so here inside of minecraft um you can simply press on the right shift button on your keyboard and that is going to open up uh, the earth hack click gui area this has all the utilities that this client offers. We can click on these to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off, and right click on these for the drop down menu. As you can see, all of those are unique. Hovering above these is going to give you the description in this description area right over here, which is pretty useful. I highly recommend you just mess around with this client. It works exactly as most of the other ones if you're already experienced with those, and so it is really just incredibly simple to use now apart from that there are a few more things that you should want to look at firstly in this click gui area over here you can fully customize this click gui area so out of all customization menus this is one of the most useful ones in this settings area over here you can adjust the complexity if you turn the complexity up all the way to expert or dev then as you can see here it says exactly what that's going to do. Basically, if you have it at beginner, then you won't have as much customization settings. This is because of bloating. Um, as you can see, if I turn this up all the way to dev, some of these menus are going to be a lot larger and more complex, less easy to use, if you know what I mean. And so you can definitely mess around with that. Just know that if you have it set to beginner always, then you might not be able to experience the full experience that this client offers anyways we can simply press on escape to close this menu if you want to do that and earth hack actually also offers commands so you can prefix these with the plus and then we'll just type plus help in chat as an example and we'll get a list then of all the commands as you can see right over here we've got a list if you just type one of these commands in the chat um for example plus config over here then it'll tell you exactly what this command allows you to do. So that's pretty useful, isn't it? Anyways, for the rest, that was basically that for EarthHack. Um, it's a pretty good client, at least I do think so. Let me know what you guys think. Does it do justice on its 1.12.2 counterpart or not at all? Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.